it's so good to see you back again. I was just checking the mail. I got a letter in the mail today. Have you ever gotten something in the mail? It's so exciting, isn't it? I love getting letters from family and friends. It lets me know more about them, how they're doing, what they've been up to. Sometimes they have something really important to tell me or something that they've learned that I can learn from too. We're going to see how God writes to us in our lesson today. We're continuing in the same foundation this week. God is truth, God gives his word. And our big truth for this week is the Bible is God's word. Our Bible verse for this week can be found in the book of 2 Timothy. That's all the way at the very back of our Bibles. 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. Let's sing part of that together, okay? I'll sing the first part and then you repeat, okay? All right, here we go. All scripture, all scripture is breathed out, is breathed out by God, by God, Second Timothy. 2 Timothy 3.16, 3.16. That was excellent. Let's try it one more time, okay? All right, here we go. You ready? All scripture, all scripture is breathed out, is breathed out by God, by God. 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy 3.16, 3.16. That was so good. Practice that some this week, okay? I'd love to hear it. So what does that mean? Well, scripture is our Bibles. So everything in here is breathed out by God. Now, does that mean he just went and blew really hard and there was a Bible? <laughs> no, it just means that everything in here is written to us from God. He used lots of different people to write his words down for us, but everything in here is from God. It's like a whole book full of letters from God. Our story today is in the book of Nehemiah. The Israelites had gotten so far away from God and disobeyed him so much for so long that they had been exiled, kicked out of their land. God had just brought them back to their homes and they rebuilt the temple. They gathered all the people together, and Ezra the priest read to them the Law of Moses. That's the first part of our Bibles. Now, today we can go grab our Bibles and read through God's Word anytime we want. But back then, not everybody had a copy of God's Word, and it had been a long time since they'd heard the Scripture. It took a long time to read it all, but the people were so excited to hear it. But the more they heard, the sadder they got. You see, they didn't realize how much they had been sinning, how far away from God they had gotten until Ezra read to them. And when the people realized just how sinful their hearts were, they all started to cry. You see, God was using his word, these letters to his people, to teach them, to show them their wicked hearts, to show them his wonderful goodness, and to turn them back to him. Ezra told the people they were going to have a party to celebrate God's goodness, and that's just what they did. Let's take a look at this part of the story in our Jesus Storybook Bible. Can you see all the people down here having a party? All day they listened to stories about the wonderful things God had done for his people, how he made the world, how he gave a special promise to Abraham, how he rescued them from slavery, how he spoke to Moses and showed them how to live, how he brought them to a special land, how he rescued them no matter what, time after time, over and over again. Because of his never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking always and forever love. They remembered how God had always, all through the years, been loving his children, keeping his promise to Abraham, taking care of them, forgiving them, even when they disobeyed, even when they ran away from him, even when they thought they didn't need him. It had taken centuries for God's people to be ready, 
but now the time had almost come for the best part of God's plan. God himself was going to come, not to punish his people, but to rescue them. God was getting ready to wipe away every tear from every eye, and the true party was just about to begin. Who is that talking about right there? It's talking about Jesus coming. What an important book this is, God's rescue plan. Everything in this book is written to us from God. Our Bible verse tells us that it is good for teaching, for correcting our sinful behavior, for training us up to be more like God so that we can be complete. What a loving God we have to give us all of this. Sit down sometime this week with your family and have them read you some stories from your Bible. Now sing and dance and praise the Lord. And before we wrap up, let's say our prayers, okay? Big clap. God, we thank you for another wonderful day, for the chance to come together and worship. We thank you that you are truth and your word is truth. We thank you for giving us our Bibles that we can read these wonderful letters straight from you. We pray for a wonderful week ahead. In Jesus' name, everybody's third. Amen.